Please enjoy this free clip of the No Spin News to watch the full episode. You have to become a BillOReilly.com premium member, but it's fun. Simply visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today. So Springsteen and Obama go on CBS, very friendly territory. Roll that tape. You know, yeah. when I was young, I felt voiceless. You know, I felt I felt invisible. And I think we're, we're, we're in, in trouble and that a lot of people f do feel very voiceless. And Donald Trump was, uh, you know, he had the cynicism and, and, and the, the carny ability to uh, to play on that part of our weakness. You know, I think we're going to be in a lot of trouble if you can't find a way to engage uh a lot of people who feel disaffected, whether it's by technological change, whether it's by the post-industrialization. Bruce is right. You, you end up having, on the one hand, change happening very rapidly, too rapidly for a big portion of the population. For another portion of the population, it's like, you know, uh, how long are we going to keep having to defer this dream? Yeah. And I, I think that part of what we tried to do in the podcast was get everybody to feel um, a little more willing to recognize, you know, our own faults. Well, I don't get that because realizing your dream, both of those guys have done it. Right? They both did it. And without a lot of, you know, parental, I don't know, Springsteen, but certainly Obama didn't have a lot of parental guidance. And the system took care of Obama. As I said, his education was paid for. And Springsteen becomes one of the biggest rock stars in the world because his talent drove him to the top in a capitalistic system. So I don't know what the beef is. Do you know what the beef is? I don't know. Bruce Springsteen is not an intelligent guy. I mean, he's not. He doesn't make a lot of sense, but he's got a lot of talent and he was able to develop that to be successful financially. I, I just don't, I don't see it. I don't understand what they're peddling here. So finally, Springsteen goes on Colbert, you know, and it's just two far left loons talking to each other. Go. Oh. My kids were in, out in George Floyd and Black Lives Matter protests, uh, seeing the diverse group of young people in the streets the day after the, the election. Uh, you know, it's like a, it's a cliche, but that's what keeps me optimistic. I think there's a, a great generation of young, of young people coming up uh, who are inter would be, will be interested in protecting American democracy and things like the fundamental right to vote, uh, all of which has been uh, uh, are sort of an endangered species at the moment. Sort of an endangered species? So 150 million Americans voted in the last election, the most ever. Yet the fundamental right of vote is a endangered species, according to Bruce Springsteen. You see what I'm talking about here? Hey, I'm sure you've noticed that everything is getting more expensive. And with all this printing money and spending by the progressives, I'm concerned the dollar's end could be near. If the government continues this way, the dollar could freefall and lose its coveted role as the world's reserve currency. That's why there's never been a more important time to consider gold and silver to protect you and your family. And American Hartford Gold is the only company I'm happy to put my name behind. I have done business with them myself. It just takes a quick phone call and they'll have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA. Plus, tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you and they'll give you up to $2,500 of free silver on your first order. So please don't wait. Call 866-501-5201, 866-501-5201. Or text Bill to 65532. Again, 866-501-5201. Or text Bill to 65532. Bill O'Reilly here. Thank you for watching this video. And make sure you subscribe to the First TV YouTube page. Just hit the big red subscribe button below. And you'll get clips and highlights of my program, The No Spin News, every single day. We'll see you soon.